Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Parker um, at Uncharted Recreation here in Meridian, Idaho. Uh, behind me, I've got a few uh, scout campers uh, that I wanted to review and do a walkthrough with you. Uh, today, we're gonna be focusing on this guy here. This is the Scout Kenai. This is the largest of the four models that they offer. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. All right, guys, so this is the 2024 Adventure Scout Kenai. Again, the biggest of the four models. Uh, this unit has a base price of 26990 with a huge list of options that you can add or take off uh, depending on your liking. Um, this unit in front of me is equipped with the following options. It has the removable camper jacks, the clear view bunk windows, the diesel heater option, the bilateral bed rail runners, uh, the exterior two gallon water pack, and the universal awning bracket. Uh, as for interior, it has the portable Dometic indoor-outdoor cooktop, uh, your 75-liter refrigerator, hanging storage bags on both the driver and passenger side, and the portal edge bunk extensions. Now, I'll go over all these options a little bit more in detail as we walk around the unit, um, but that is what this one has. I'll leave a list of all these options and the prices for each in the description below. Um, but yeah, here's a couple specs on the unit itself. Uh, this is built for uh, heavy half tons, but realistically, this is made more for your three quarter tons and one ton trucks um, coming in at a base weight of 1,265 pounds before any options. Your floor length on this unit is 92.25 inches and uh, the width is 47.5 inches uh, with an interior height of 80 inches tall. Uh, you do have an onboard 10 gallons or excuse me, 10 pounds of propane. Uh, 4.9, almost five gallons of fresh water capacity. Uh, you will have the 1500 watt Yeti Gold Zero lithium battery pack in this one, and I'll show you that in more detail as well. Um, the bed on this unit is 52 inches by 80 inches, and then you do have a secondary sleeping option with the dinette. Um, the exterior dimensions of this unit are 145 and a half inches long, 83 inches wide, and that's without the awning option and then 83 inches tall without the rooftop tent option. Uh, this unit does come standard with 175 watts um, of solar, and that is roof mounted. I'll show you that. Uh, and this unit does feature a fully gel coated fiberglass um, as well, making it extremely durable with its exoskeleton um, aluminum framework as well. So we'll uh, dive into the details here, start towards the front, kind of work our way around as always. All right, starting at the front here, you're gonna notice those nice, big, clear view bunk windows. Um, that is, again, an option. What's cool about them is they're acrylic and they do open. Um, I can show you that from the inside here in a minute. Um, on top here, let me zoom out a little bit. Uh, this is gonna be your 175 watt Renergy um, solar panel. It's roof mounted, and then you've got a light bar above that. So super cool that they thought of that. And then underneath, not much to show under here, but I'll show it to you anyway. These are gonna be those removable jacks I was telling you about. These are happy jacks, um, pretty straightforward. There's a bit that you get for your power drill that just hooks in here and then you away you go. And you kind of have to do all four um, in a circular motion until you get this to the proper height. Um, they do have these removable pins though, so once you get this camper loaded into your truck, you can take the jacks off, um, so that way they're not sticking out like they do on some of the traditional truck campers out there. Um, so you don't have to even bring them with you if you don't want to, uh, or if you don't have plans of um, taking the truck camper out of the bed of your truck. So pretty cool, really cool design language on this. Uh, you'll see this curvature around the front. Uh, interesting fact, from the back corner over here where the wall starts all the way around the camper no seams at all all the way to the back here that's all one piece um, so really really cool how they were able to do that without um, any seams and then all these extrusions here these are uh, aluminum so this is that ex exoskeleton i was telling you about it's got an internal seal and an external seal here um, so you don't have to worry about water getting inside so pretty cool. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the front side. We'll work our way around the uh, driver's side here. 
So these are gonna be those uh, rail, uh, bed extender rail option. Uh, what it's kind of designed to do is give you a, a mounting option for, uh, you know, shovels, axes, um, even maybe um, water or, I don't know, there, there's a lot of things you can do with it really, but it's also uh, to kind of fill in that empty space that you see on a lot of truck campers that kind of make them look tall and awkward in the bed of your truck. So part of it's just cosmetic as well. Um, but yeah, those are called the uh, bilateral, sorry, I got to pull up my notes here, my bilateral uh, bed rail runners um, is what those are called on the website. Um, stepping back here a little bit, uh, you've got a pretty large window here, same style as the front windows. It does prop open and it's going to give you not only uh, privacy, blackout shades, as well as a bug screen. A really cool design. Again, we'll show you that more in detail on the inside. Underneath here, you're gonna see these ratchet straps. So that's right, there are, uh, the only way that you secure this in your bed is just with these four ratchet straps around, um, which is cool because you get to use the existing D-rings in the bed of your truck versus going out and spending over a thousand dollars worth of torque lift or uh, whatever uh, to be frame mounted on your truck. So really cool that that uses that. Um, that's your center of gravity point there. And then working our way over to the side, you will have a drain plug here for your fresh water. And then another ratchet strap. And then if I zoom up, there we go. Um, that's gonna be a seven way female connector. Um, so what you do is you take a uh, male to male seven way cable, plug it in there, plug it into your truck. And that's what's gonna allow you to charge your uh, Yeti Gold Zero 1500 from your truck. And then this is just a solar on the side port. So if you wanted to add more solar potential, you could just bring a portable panel and plug straight into that. So pretty cool. And then you do have a little low point drain here. That's actually for the shower. Um, I'll show you that as well. Coming around to the rear, uh, this has the Rotopax uh, two gallon option here. Mounts on the, the back here and uh, pretty cool, pretty accessible. Uh, you can put water in these. They do make uh, red ones for gasoline as well. You do have this bracket up top. This is actually where your license plate will go in these holes here. And then you can hang stuff on here. You've got a door stop. Um, so just kind of a nice little bracket to have. Uh, this does have the optional diesel heater, um, which is awesome. It, uh, has, it carries two and a half gallons of fuel. It's extremely efficient. Um, so you don't have to worry about getting cold while you're out and about. And then you will have an external light up top here. All right, coming around to this side here, we'll squeeze in here. So there's, again, is that bilateral rail option. Um, up top, this is what your universal awning bracket's gonna look like. That'll focus okay. Um, that piece there, and then there's another bracket over above the window. Um, that's gonna allow for you to um, buy any external awning that you wanna use with this without buying the one that Scout offers. So maybe you want a 270 degree awning or what have you. Um, all right, so they changed the doors on these. They now open uh, from bottom to top. Nice, good size storage in here for whatever you wanna bring along with you. Go ahead and shut that. And these are lockable. Actually, no, it does not look like, oh yeah, there it is. There we go. So you can lock it. All right, and then up front here, this one does not lock for safety reasons, but this is gonna be where your 10 pound propane tank sits. There is room for another tank if you wanted to add another tank and it's all plumbed and ready to go for that. So kind of cool that they included that. All right, that's pretty much it for the outside though, guys. Uh, not a whole lot, it's pretty minimalist and you'll notice these are built to be very modular. You can take things off, you can work on them, put them back on. Um, so pretty, pretty cool. Uh, but let's head on to the inside and I'll show you what, uh, what makes this thing so special. All right, so 
Coming in, you'll notice this door is actually a friction hinge door. So wherever you leave the door, it'll stay. And it has some, um, I guess, friction uh, that keeps it in place, which is nice. So if it's windy, you don't have to worry about your door slamming shut all the time. You do have a rear window with this nice cover here that just snaps on. Very cool. Um, I'll show you this now. So uh, you've got this little drain plate here. This does come out. Um, but basically, it allows you to use this space as a shower, so your water will just fall through. And then remember, there's that drain on this side of the camper that you just open up. Um, so pretty cool. There is no heated shower option in these yet, anyway. Um, but you can use um, this water tank here with the little hose attachment to take a shower if you really needed to. But it is not heated, remember that. Um, you'll have a fire extinguisher here next to your door. And then this one, since we didn't option it with the um, either of the toilet options, um, that's what the space would be for normally. So they have uh, just a normal portable toilet option that you can take in and out of the camper as you please. And then they've got another cassette style toilet that would sit in this space here uh, with a cassette option, uh, which would be, you could empty it right here. So we did not option it that way, but just keep in mind that's what this space is for. Uh, you do have this cool little shelf that folds down and sits right there. So you can set stuff on top there if you'd like. Nice little storage cubby in here. All of the cabinetry in this is made in-house. It's very, very high quality and it's laser cut. All right, nice storage compartment up top. Very big, you can use this as a closet does have some good spaces uh, up top to hang your clothes or what have you. And then your diesel heater is gonna be coming out of um, this port here. It's nice that they angled it too. Alrighty. Thermostat's gonna be located just right here. Working our way up. You'll see these uh, little D-ring looking things hanging from the ceiling. So that's actually designed to hang a shower curtain if you were to want to shower in here. There's your carbon monoxide detector there. Now on this side of the camper, you're gonna have these adjustable cubbies. So as you can see, you can kind of adjust the height at which you want these to rest. And they've got these bungees to keep things inside and for moving around. Kind of nice. Little stainless steel sink here as well, which sits just below your 4.9 gallon water, fresh water tank here. So because there is no plumbing really in this unit, uh, there's not a lot of winterization that you gotta do to it. So you can just empty this tank and pull it out or even just take the whole tank out if you wanted to in the winter time. This is your Dometic two burner stove, the indoor outdoor. Um, this stove top is made specifically for this unit here. You can use other stove tops. You just gotta make sure that the propane um, will work with the system that they have already tied in here. Down below, you'll have a little Yeti bottle opener here. Some nice Scout branding. Good size cubby as well in here. This is your 75 liter Dometic refrigerator. Freezer combo as well, so you can set the temperature to what you like. There's a little screen on this side for that. Now's a good opportunity to show you guys how these windows work. So you've got these little clips here Ooh, this might be hard to do one-handed. We'll try it. All right, there we go. So just unclip both. Your, black, your privacy screen will go up just like that. And then on the bottom, if you lift this side up, you've got your bug screen. And then you've also got these little latches all the way around. So you can just flip those all. And then the whole window can prop out. And it's got a couple different settings. So see if I can do it right. Maybe. Anyway, you can prop it up. Okay, well, it, I did it a second ago. I promise it works. 
Um, but then, yeah, and then you can lock it shut just like that. And they are uh, dual pane, so they will keep you warm. So up top here, you've got the passenger and the driver's side um, storage bags. They just clip into these um, brackets mounted to the ceiling. These brackets are also used for your bunk um, extensions. I'll show you that. So you'll see these two little um, eyelets hanging out here. So this board pulls out to here and it stops. And then you, there's a couple straps that come with it that hook into these holes here. And then they hook up top to support your platform. And then you, that's what these two cushions are. Those just sit on top. So that's what's gonna allow two adults um, to sleep vertically uh, north to south facing versus east to west in this trailer, or excuse me, in this truck camper. So, kinda cool. Really good size bed up top. Good room too, good headroom. Um, you do have these dimmable lights here as well and then those front windows function the same as this big window you've got a bug screen you've also got the privacy shade and they can also prop open to get some good airflow um, this one does have i don't know how to pronounce it. i think it's hecky uh, sunroof here this does open to let even more fresh air in uh, which is nice of course and there is an option to get a rooftop tent mounted on this and this would actually serve as an entry point to that tent. So you can crawl up through the roof into the tent. Uh, that's about a $6,000 option on Scout's website. Another storage bag on this side here. I'm gonna back up a little bit and show you this dinette area. So you do have this nice little dinette space. Really nice table. Um, this is pretty modular. You can kind of move it around, put it where you like it, turn it sideways. Um, yeah, and then you can take the table out entirely. Uh, but there is a way to turn this section into a small bed. Uh, you basically just take those poles off of the table top here, and then the tabletop rests in this space, and then you take your back cushions here, and that one over there, and you fill in the middle so somebody could sleep here. I'll throw a, a picture in here of what that looks like. All right, now that you know what that looks like, um, let's show you this Yeti Goal Zero. So again, this is the 1500X lithium, um, really big capacity in this battery here. It is already pre-wired to your solar up top, the 175 watts, and it's also wired to your seven way. So again, if you get the right cable, uh, this will charge as you're driving, uh, but pretty cool. You've got lots and lots of ports on here, uh, 110, plugs, USB-A, USB-C, uh, even your standard 12 volt here. Uh, really cool though, because you can take this whole unit out if you wanted to uh, and just use it um, outdoors or even in your house if the power ever goes out. So it's a self-contained unit, has an inverter built into it. It's really, really cool. That's kind of the way the industry is going here. Um, you do have this nice little cubby underneath. You can kick your shoes off and put them inside there. Another one on this side as well. And then you've got this pretty deep one under your dinette here. So lots of little storage spaces throughout. Turn around this way. And you've got another pretty deep one under the seat of the dinette on this side. So pretty cool. I'm sure I didn't hit on everything in this video, but hopefully this gives you a good overview of this truck camper. Um, Truly, this video is probably not going to do it justice. I've been to their facility. I've seen how they're made. And I would argue this is the best built truck camper on the market. And not only that, it's super lightweight. You can even throw uh, the smallest model on a Ford Maverick, if you can believe that. Um, so really, really cool. Um, if you have questions, feel free to comment down below. I'm pretty good about getting back to people. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys.